People love love when they're loving their loved one and everybody loves love in their butt. My brother certainly does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks against the Corbin. Butt love! Uh, my brother uh, does. Uh, if you don't know my brother, and none of you do. Um, today, we got, we got another ver- um, Did he realize he liked men acting opposite me? I'd like to think so. I would hope not, he was a child. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, forgot about that. <laughs> uh, this is a- Vidyat Jamwal. Obviously, yeah. we saw a couple of his videos, but this is seven fiscal feet. Oh, more! Feet. Great! So awesome! Not, I don't know if this is working out. This is like crazy stuff that she can do, I think. With? Because of... <laughs> yes. Yes. His penis. Thank you! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the ladies yeah. would be like, yes. Uh, does martial arts have to do with the penis? Constantly. Oh, really? You need to be aware of it at all times and make sure that it's in the proper position. Preferably facing the North Pole, where all of the magnetic activity can be rendered into your being through the central vortex of the lower region. And then- Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Well. Okay, I did not see that. I was like, I could do that. Right. <laughs> that actually does take, in terms of like, skill, skill to in terms of like, it. obviously not actually walking on water. To but make it I look. don't think you and I could just set that up and do no, that. No, that would, that's, that's much harder than it looks. But yes, that's what she said. Oh yeah, that's, that's... So it's mostly that he can control the body not to actually touch it. Not that obviously wind blows out a candle. No, yeah, no. We all know wind can blow out a candle. But in terms of like doing a... I've never seen you do a push-up on an escalator. I can. So I'm headed for the fifth Jackie Chan International Film Week. Jackie Chan has inspired me and he's inspired the whole world. That's no shock. So this is for Jackie Chan and... <laughs> this is for Jackie Chan and all his fanatics. Oh, he's gonna break it and not break the egg. Is that something Jackie Chan does? That is incredible. You basically have to use just this part. Yeah, yeah, this part of the hand to keep it soft on the inside. That's, that is that a, is that a Jackie Chan thing? I think Jackie Chan has done that, yes. Good take it off with his foot. Wow! That's more about the control, because obviously you don't want to actually hit the bottle. Yeah, spatial control. Ooh, this looks like it hurts. <laughs> that takes balance. <laughs> and if you mess it up, you could really cut yourself bad. That looks like it hurts. Yeah, that's not just strength, that's uh, pain endurance. Wow. Break your own barriers. You say break your own barriers? Yeah. Okay. The escalator thing was, that's not a feat. I've never seen you do it. I'll do one for you. Just oh, so that we you're going to have to film it now. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, he was doing push-ups. It wasn't that big a deal. The other one, the <sighs> breaking bricks with the egg in the hand, and that last one. Yeah, that's so you basically got to hold it up here just with these. You hold it in the hand. Basically, and then control the vibration that the 
Well, and not just the vibration, your natural tendency when you're doing something like that is going to be to flex those fingers in when you go down to strike. Yeah. And to, to do that and to allow the two things, not to have your hand squeeze it, and then the force that it takes to break those things and not let that energy come up and into the egg, that's, that's really impressive. It may, be, it may not be that impressive. There may be an easy way to learn how to do it, but I, I, I can't imagine what it is. Do you have an egg? No, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm thinking about the bottle thing. Don't, don't. No, I'm not gonna do it. One, it's painful. Two, I know, I'm just trying to... the bottle can break and cut your wrists open. Okay, so... so yeah, kids, don't try that at home. Okay, that's not terrible. Because I can, I can obviously push this down and that's fine. But he says is that's not terrible as he gives it 15 pounds of pressure. <laughs> versus... A, no, I think that the more challenging is on the feet. One, Absolutely. Was, Sticking a toe in there? That sounds like it... It feels like it hurts, but also I think it's more the, the balance. It's the, it. it's the balance aspect. Obviously, of that's, it. you're just on four of these. I'll tell you what. And doing a push-up? The, the, I want to... I would be willing to try the bottle one and see if I could do it and hold myself up. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would be scared to try the egg one because I'd be afraid I'm gonna break my freaking wrist. Oh yeah. I've never understood the, the guys and women that can, that can break obviously, bricks with their bare hands. Obviously it takes training, obviously, Absolutely. because you have to know how to hit it. Correct. You have to hit it in the right place and with the right force. Correct. And I'm, so I'm assuming there's all this that goes into it, right? Um, but I'm assuming I can't just... Obviously, it, it, he put it halfway off of the thing, so obviously there's some in terms of like just physics. Yes, there's, but still, and with an egg in your hand. Yeah, the one the one that I don't, I don't know that I could ever accomplish it is that bottle one. I'd like to see you walk on water. <laughs> well, that one I, is just a matter of learning right. the spatial distance. Rick's gonna do a video is where he, he tries not? all of these things. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I might. I think it would be hilarious to the see one you do that the would water be hard, The hard one would be the, the freaking. I think it would thing. be hilarious. One, they have different kind of bricks there than we have here as well. True. Um, so True. I don't know the what kind one of... would be tough. I don't know. You... I'll promise you that the one I'll do, like I would do today and put on Instagram, is just go to the mall and get on an escalator and be you in a push-up position. First, guys. Be in a push-up position down the escalator. Re ridicule them. Yeah, I could do that too. <laughs> you could. <laughs> you could too. <laughs> I just, obviously it looks like it's like, oh, oh okay, obviously, but like. We didn't even talk about the move. him, uh, probably the, the most difficult one by far, oh. the three bottle caps. With his oh, foot. yeah. Well, that's that's got to be the hardest That's always ball. been impressive. One, you. That one, I don't know that I'd ever get that one. Your, ever. your body control. That's, that's unbelievable. And to obviously hit it with enough force to not knock it over. To not knock them over. And to obviously get and it And get off. all three of them. That's that was that was probably my favorite. Obviously, as far as like I I don't know I could never do that. Martial arts and that sort of martial arts it's body control. I think that's that's what a lot of martial arts is probably. It is. It's it's body and mind. Yeah, they're they're linked, but it's it's about the discipline and knowing exactly where your body is and what your body's going to do and releasing its fullest potential, both in finesse. Oh, my body and in strength. Some potential. And, and finesse and strength, like the you've seen Bruce Lee's. Mm -hmm. punch with just being like this and going like that and sending guys back six seven feet um yeah it's it's amazing it's really insane. it's really amazing very inspiring you know who doesn't like bruce lee quentin tarantino clearly if you haven't seen once upon a time in hollywood oh uh, and then also see the behind the scenes of what he said about him yeah he is he's not a fan of uh, no he's not a fan of bruce lee <laughs> Well, uh, regardless of how Bruce Lee was personally, there's no denying his greatness in the uh, world of martial arts. I mean, if you, no deny. if you deny that, you're an idiot. An idiot. Really? <laughs> you're stupid. And that, the, those, the kicking one with the bottles was he's, incredible. He's cool. I like As that. Well, hey, the arch with someone standing on your abdomen? Yeah, that's... that's I can't do that arch. Yeah, that's, that's probably pretty hard. Ashley could do the arch. Oh, I could do the arch. You could do that arch? I've always been able to do an arch. That's easy. But standing on me, probably not. Unless it's like somebody my wife's size. Maybe. That arch for you is easy? At least when I, maybe it's not anymore. I probably haven't done an arch. It yet. actually might, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Because you're, you're pretty naturally flexible. Oh. Don't hurt yourself oh. though. I'm telling you this is legit. Almost, almost. Oh, fuck. He made a mistake. Oh no, what happened? Did you hit your tailbone again? Nope. Lower back? Ugh. Oh crap. Can I help you in some way? 
Uh, okay. Oh no. It's like spazzing. Oh no. Hold on. Okay. I'll get it. Take your time. I am so sorry. Oh shit. Oh no. <sighs> if it would stop doing it, I'd be fine. It's still electrifying. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, hey guys, I'm fine. <laughs> I told him it makes for great content if it's any consolation. Well, back just started literally, like I was doing the back bend. Um, he actually got up into position. Uh, and then it, it shocked me. It felt like I was tased. Yeah. It was weird because I'm fine it, now. It's, it's, been, it's, it's been like probably five, eight minutes, something like recovery, that. Of recovery, but you were down on the floor for five minutes. Yeah. So it's he was on the floor in pain for five minutes, and I'm just like, because I've hurt my back. I know what that feels like, so I'm like, oh, bro. Well, it's different than so the normal sorry. hurt. Then. No, no, no. It's, I've hurt my back all the time, but it's a different kind of hurt. It's like, not musculature. It's not skeletal. It's nerve. Oh, it was weird, dude. It's brutal. Hence, don't try these things at home, <laughs> folks. <laughs>